today. NVIDIA's new GPU is here. AMD just fixed the 7900 series. Ryzen 7000 prices continue to plummet. New CPUs get benchmarked. And AMD's RX 8000 GPUs. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, we finally get our first look at NVIDIA's upcoming RTX 4070 Ti. Remember that the 4070 Ti is essentially just a rebranded 12GB 4080. Either way, the story comes from video cards, who shared images of an upcoming Gigabyte Aero 4070 Ti. And as you can see, it's the real deal, not just renders. So NVIDIA is definitely set to release these cards very soon. In fact, video cards claims that reviewers already have their hands on the cards and that they should already be shipping to retailers. One interesting fact is that these come with a dual 8-pin to a single 16-pin connector, so it does look like NVIDIA is planning to use the new connector across their entire lineup. All in all, let's just hope that NVIDIA actually changes the price along with the name change. Next up for today, AMD just fixed a real issue with their RX 7900 XTX and XT GPUs. But first, keep your Christmas shopping private this holiday season and save money while doing it with today's sponsor, Atlas VPN, the VPN that does everything you could want while costing a fraction of the price. And today, they're offering a huge discount of 85% plus six free months. That's $1.70 a month for three years and six months free when you visit my link in the description. As far as what they do, Atlas VPN hides your IP address so you can browse the internet without prying eyes. They also let you do more premium things like get past geo-restricted content on Netflix so you can watch your favorite shows, and you can watch at 4K. Plus, one of my favorite things is that you can protect unlimited devices with just one subscription. And when you visit my link in the description, you'll get it all for just $1.70 a month and six free months. And if you don't like it, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So check that out today before before this deal is gone. Now back to the story, AMD just released a new adrenaline driver that's actually only made for the RX 7900 XTX and 7900 XT, meaning AMD released this solely to fix issues with these GPUs. One major issue was what some reviewers saw during testing, which was abnormally high power draw while decoding videos, which is essentially just playing them. According to AMD's release notes, they have made improvements to that, and they even mentioned that more power improvements are planned for future releases. In it, they also fixed a couple issues when doing certain things while on multiple monitors, as well as a crashing problem when enabling ray tracing in Spider-Man Miles Morales. At the end of the day, it's clear that AMD is serious about fixing some early issues with their new cards. Hopefully they fix the pricing issue of their 7900 XT, in that it needs to be cheaper. Next up, it looks like AMD is continuing to slash prices for their Ryzen 7000 CPUs. Just recently, we saw the 7600X drop an additional $10 to reach its lowest price ever. Now, AMD looks to have cut the price of their 7950X even more than it already was. As you can see, it's now selling for $568.99, and multiple retailers have reduced it to that price. So this is clearly a real price change, not just one retailer offering a discount. And that means means the 16-core 32-thread CPU is now a whopping $130 cheaper than MSRP. Of course, as I mentioned before, one of the biggest issues with Ryzen 7000 are the board prices. Simply put, the AM5 platform is significantly more expensive than their AM4 boards, not to mention the requirement for DDR5. Still, lowering CPU prices can obviously help to cushion the higher board prices. With that said, we know that AMD is set to release even cheaper CPUs with their non-X models fairly soon. And luckily, a bunch of new benchmarks were recently found on the upcoming cards. And if you like to keep up with future PC hardware, make sure you're subscribed to GamerMelt. Now, for those who don't know, these are essentially Ryzen 7000 CPUs that come with a lower TDP and lower clocks, but also a lower price. And as I mentioned before, they can typically be overclocked to get at least close to the performance of their X counterparts, so you're able to save a bit of money while getting very similar performance. And this brings us to these new benchmarks. As you can see, they're from Geekbench, and we have at least one for every CPU, starting with the Ryzen 7900 non-X model. Here, 
here we can see that it got a single core score of 2121 and a multi core score of 18,607. And that's extremely close to AMD's 7900X. I'm talking over 96% of the 7900X's performance. But get this we actually have what looks like an overclocked version that actually beats AMD's stock 7900X in multi core. Moving to the 7700 non X, we have a single core score of 2074 and a multi core score of 14,061, which is just a few points away from the 7700X. Finally is the Ryzen 7600, which got a single core score of 2012 and a multi core score of 11,326, which is right at the score of the 7600X. Basically, if these CPUs are priced right, the non X models could be the new go to for AMD. Lastly for today, we have some very early details on AMD's next-gen RX 8000 GPUs. And like with the recent RTX 5000 leak, keep in mind that GPU makers take years to develop cards, so AMD almost certainly knows certain specs of their next-gen cards already, but things can change. Also, please don't feel like this makes your card outdated or anything like that. The RX 7000 GPUs are brand new. This is just something fun to talk about. So with that said, this story comes from known leaker Red Gaming Tech. Starting things off, he goes over the specs of Navi 41, which would be the GPU and say the 8900 XTX and 8900 XT. Here we can see that it comes with 144 compute units or 9,216 cores, which makes for a whopping 50% increase in core count. As he mentions, things like this can change, but that's where AMD is so far. What's really wild is that while it's a 50% increase in core count, it's apparently a two times increase in performance, at least according to this. In fact, we're looking at a two times increase in performance for every GPU listed. Of course, these are likely targets, so they may be better or worse, but it's what AMD is at least hoping for. Next, these apparently come with GDDR7, so the VRAM should be quite a bit faster, and at least with one configuration, we could be looking at as high as 48 gigabytes of memory. Next, we have Navi 42, which comes with 96 compute units or 6,144 cores. And finally is Navi 43, which would come with 48 CUs. So basically, everything gets a very nice jump in core count, yet an even bigger jump in performance. He's also claiming that there are significant gains in ray tracing as well, though he doesn't have any details there. All in all, both next-gen AMD and NVIDIA look like a serious jump in performance. Just please don't tell me that we'll see the same jump in price. So while that does it for today, are you happy with the newest-gen GPUs, or are you holding out for next-gen? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to pick up that amazing Atlas VPN deal down in the description below. And as always, have a great day!